Since its release in 1973, The Way We Were has been considered one of the most highly revered romances to ever grace cinema screens. It's become only more beloved over time, and this all comes in spite of the fact that it had a fairly troubled production. Memorably, the film starred Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford, both of whom were already major celebrities. Robert was apparently hesitant to work with Barbara, fearing that she'd exercise too much control on the film's set. He eventually decided to take it, but his fears proved correct. Join Faxverse as we explore how Barbara Streisand repeated her love scene with Robert Redford over and over. 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of the classic romantic film The Way We Were, and film historian Robert Hoffler has celebrated this momentous occasion with the release of a book. The book is called The Way We Were, How Epic Battles and Bruised Egos Brought a Classic Hollywood Love Story to the Screen, aims to be an all-encompassing look at the decidedly troubled production that resulted in the film. The book is filled with fascinating tales, but the most fascinating of them are inarguably the ones that center around the film's two major stars. The Way We Were is certainly a great film, with direction from revered filmmaker Sidney Pollack and a script from popular playwright Arthur Lawrence. But it wouldn't have ended up becoming the successful product it did if not for its two stars. Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford, both of whom were already at the top of the world in terms of celebrity status. The success of the movie only cemented their superstardom, though Robert Redford was allegedly hesitant to sign on. Of all the interesting stories in the book, the most notable is the story where an innocuous love scene between the characters played by Barbara and Robert took two days to film. The scene in question was the first love scene that shows up in the movie, and those who have seen it will likely be shocked to realize just how much work went into filming it. The reason the love scene took so long was because Barbara kept demanding they do take after take. After 50 years, the reason why she felt the need to do so many takes is still unclear, though there is a good theory. Did Barbara want to keep Robert in bed? When they filmed this scene, The Way We Were had already gone over budget and was falling behind schedule. This may cause some to assume that Barbara had a good reason for taking up two days of filming with a relatively unimportant love scene. But it seems the most likely reason is because she wanted to keep Robert Redford on top of her. Those who've seen the scene will know it involves little except Robert's sleeping character waking up momentarily, giving Barbara Streisand a kiss, then falling back asleep. Given this description, it should stand to reason that the scene would only take a few minutes to film after all the necessary preparations had been made. The fact that it took two days to film is staggering. Some may be hesitant to accept the theory that Barbara was holding up filming so she could get more intimate time with Robert Redford. She was one of the biggest stars on the planet at the time and most likely wouldn't have assumed that she needed to take advantage of anyone to get some action. However, multiple members of The Way We Were's production team have backed these claims up. In his new book, Robert Hoffler asserts that Streisand was unhealthily infatuated with Redford from the word go. She was heavily involved in the casting process that saw Robert cast as her lover, and Redford himself went on to claim that he felt he was being used in the role of a cinematic Ken doll. According to Hoffler, director Sidney Pollack and writer Arthur Lawrence both noticed Barbara's unhealthy obsession with Redford. It seems Barbara's love for Redford was an open secret on set. All the women were in love with Robert Redford. The fact of women being infatuated with Robert Redford was certainly nothing new. He'd made a name for himself thanks to both his good looks and machismo well before The Way We Were was a thing. Other female stars who have claimed to develop a crush on Robert while starring alongside him include Meryl Streep and the late Natalie Wood. There were plenty of actors from around the same time that would have reciprocated all the Hollywood crushes, but Robert Redford was not one of them. Despite the fact that every woman in Hollywood wanted to get with the actor, Robert was a rare performer not interested in dabbling in high-profile affairs. Redford was already married by the time he broke into the entertainment industry, having married first wife Lola Van Wagenen in 1958. They stayed married until the mid-1980s and had several children by the time he starred in The Way We Were. As Streisand continued to ask for take after take while she and Robert were trying to film the scene, it got to the point where the actor couldn't take it anymore. He finally signaled to director Sidney Pollack that he had experienced enough of the demanding scenario. 
after two days, filming of the love scene finally wrapped. Despite appearances, neither of the film's two lead stars were nude during the scene. Barbara was wearing a bikini, while Redford was wearing a pair of athletic supporters. When it came time to film the second love scene between the two, issues continued. This time, the issue was that Robert didn't want to say the line that had been written for him. The line was, it'll be better next time. Of course, Robert didn't want to say the line because he didn't want the audience to think he had any weaknesses when it came to the art of making love. Meanwhile, the writer was adamant that the line remained as he felt it was chivalrous of Robert's character. Filming was apparently so strenuous that Sidney Pollack began fantasizing about leaving the production only a week in. Despite all the trouble that occurred on set, Barbara and Robert exuded great chemistry when they showed up on screens in the fall of 1973. Robert was afraid of Barbara beforehand. Redford was hesitant to sign on and take his role in the way we were, and the biggest reason was he was afraid Barbara Streisand's ego would get in the way of the production. Though Robert was a huge star in his own right, he wasn't quite on the level of Barbara. She had previously had a major hit with the musical film Funny Girl. Before agreeing to star in The Way We Were, Robert had heard a horror story from the set of Funny Girl that affected him. The story came from a bit player in the film who grew agitated when Barbara demanded that a small action scripted for his character be performed again and again. This resulted in a small scene taking three days to film, similar to what would happen on The Way We Were. It seems Redford had good reason to be afraid to star in The Way We Were, as what happened to that bit player in Funny Girl happened to him. Since people have started talking once again about the behind-the-scenes drama that occurred on set, neither Barbara nor Robert have given any comment. Both stars are still alive, and they're both in their 80s. With five decades removed from production, it's hard to imagine that either performer would have any regrets about appearing in a film that did so much for their careers. Upon its release, the movie went on to become one of 1973's most successful films, and it's now considered one of the most revered films from the decade as a whole. The movie cost about $5 million bucks and went on to make about $50 million at the box office. Now it's time to hear from you. What was most surprising to hear about this story? Let us know in the comments section below.